Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to be talking about a half kneeling side press. Side press is one of those interesting moves, which is kind of an old time strongman move, which doesn't get a lot of play anymore in programming. It does in kettlebells because kettlebells are kind of old timey strongman. For the most part, I don't really see people in CrossFit doing this. I don't see people in normal gyms doing this. They might, I just might not know about it. The point of a side press is a overhead press, but where the weight gets a little bit heavy and there's a sticking point that you can't get through, you cheat away and use your abs to lift the weight a little bit. So when you think about a side press, think about it's kind of the combination of a press and a high windmill. Side press means the weight is going up as your body is going down at some point, and then they might come all the way up together. It's different from a bent press where the weight doesn't change height. You drop all the weight underneath it and lift up using your abs almost entirely. Our half kneeling position, 90 degrees in the front leg, 90 degrees in the back leg. We would like our feet to be squat distance apart, which should be shoulder distance apart. The point of having all those things together and pointing this foot straight ahead is that all these moves can then link into each other into standing movements to become more complex movements over time. The side press is specifically there for efficiency or for lifting weights that you can't totally press on their own. The interesting part about the side press is that you're gonna open your chest all the way up and your elbow is actually gonna track behind your body. When we do this movement, we're gonna rotate and we're gonna twist our chest as far as we kinda of can to get our elbow back behind our body. And we are going to create a spiral as we rotate and drop underneath the weight. And then as we stand up, we're using our abs in a spiral to come back up. From our neutral spine, we're gonna rotate out to the side. And what makes it a side press is I'm gonna press my arm at the same time as I'm dropping my body underneath the load. Now I'm gonna use the screw of my core to stand all the way back up, bring my chest back to the front. Drop the kettlebell down in front, open behind the body, eyes looking towards the kettlebell, drive the weight up, come all the way up. Let's demonstrate this from a different angle using a slightly heavier weight. Rotate, get the elbow all the way behind. The heavier this weight gets, the harder this position gets to get to. There will be some mobility in your chest and your shoulder that you will need to develop in order to be able to get to these positions. The further back your elbow goes behind you, the harder something in your core here is going to fire. Your forearm remains vertical the entire time, even as you move away from the bell. So we had some questions about where our weight is, and it's somewhere between both of them. I know it's a terrible answer, but as you go into the side press, your weight's gonna shift from the center towards that base leg, because that's now the vertical strut that all the load is going to be going down through. This kneeling side press is part of the pressing series. You have pure press, where you have locked out legs and a tight body, and you press using just the power of your arm, shoulder, in your core. You have the push press where you get to dip a little bit in the legs and use your legs to start propelling the weight up overhead. You have a jerk where you have a double dip where you drop underneath it, the weight goes up and you drop back underneath it. And then you have these classic presses, which are weird presses, which are old timey strongman presses. Before we had barbells, people used to lift one sided weight at a time. And you still see strong men do this. Like I think last year at the Arnold Classic, you saw guys getting up and lifting, I think it was a 300 pound dumbbell with one hand. So I picked it up and you saw what position in there a lot. 
you saw this position in there. It's somewhere between a pure press, a bent press, and a side press. So you have your pure press, you have your high windmill where you're locked out and you're isolating just the core. You have your side press, which is a combination of a press and a high windmill. And you have your bent press where you drop underneath the weight and stand up just using your core. So they're all variations on how you shift the load to different parts of your body to move different weights. I really like these because I find when I grew up on a farm that I would use a lot of things that looked like bent presses and side presses. I never did pure bent presses, but I did a lot of side presses. When you're lifting something up high and you're building a house, you, can, you get underneath it and you kind of muscle your way up through a rotation. So I find these to be very useful lifts that people don't do in the modern world. And you throw it in, you learn a little bit more about how to make something work better. You get a little bit more efficient at moving in a human way. All good stuff. This has been Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica.